Okay, so to log on to RM Easy Maths, you need a username card that you should have sent home with you. And on it, you've got a username for your pupil. We're using pupil test. You have a password, this is that password for, for this pupil. And you also need the site ID. Then you need to go into your internet browser and you need to log into Penworthy Primary. Let's just drag that down, .co.uk. At the side of our homepage, you will see that you have the login for RM Easy Maths. If you click on that once, it will take you to the following page. It, it does get used to saving your details, but the first time you will need to put your details in. So I will type in, using the right case, I'll type in the username of pupil test. And it's the at sign, and then it's at Penwoodham, which is our RM Easy Maths site. And then a password, which is there. And then if we log in, okay, there it will ask you to save the password, which means you don't have to do this every time. Okay, I'll say not now. Then you're in, and now you're in RM Easy Maths. Okay, you can log out at the top here where the mouse is now. And then you can start. So then you can look at your progress and look at your scores right from the start every time. Okay, if we click on my progress, okay, you'll see that at the moment uh, I haven't done anything because this is the first first one to here. So let's have a start. That then launches and it loads easy maths. It may take a little while once it's loaded in. Well, it is learning about the number one. Here is one apple, below it is the number one. Select the number one. So it gives you some instructions. If you don't know what to do, you can move the mouse over the words again and click on it. Select the number one. And it will play it for you again. And so you, then you have to click on the part, and if you click on the wrong part, nothing happens. But then when you click on the number one, for example, okay, and then you hit the next button. That's good. You chose the number one. It will now take you on to the next activity. This is obviously set Please at the beginning plate. of reception. There's two pairs. Choose another plate with two pairs. Okay, so now we have to choose the plate. So we do. Correct. This plate has two pairs. The activity will then continue. Snap is learning about the number two. Here are two tickets. And we want to encourage our... Below them is the number two. Select the number two. Okay, so we want to encourage your pupils to finish the session. We've got a 10 to 15 minute session planned, and then there's a game they can do at the end. Um, we can close our way out of this, um, but we do encourage you to complete a full session. Okay, so we'll, we'll close for this demonstration, and then you get to score. Okay. And you can score more points to unlock features in a flingable game, which is kind of like an Angry Birds kind of activity. Let's continue. Okay, so now we can play flingable if we wish to, if we wish to celebrate finishing a session. And you can see you can unlock different levels. I think we'll start easy. And then we play. And so now if I'm right to pause that, if I wish to, I can quit that level or start again. And then at the end of the session, you can do log out. And that, in a nutshell, is our Easy Maths. As you can see, the number of questions currently being answered goes up all the time. So they've currently had over, however many that is, over 37 million questions answered. Um, and there's more details about the characters and things on the RM Easy Maths website. If you get find you get back to that, you can log in using the login button there. That will take you straight back to your username and password, which is on your card, and it will have saved on your computer. That's a brief introduction to RM Easy Maths. Any problems, see Mrs. James uh, or myself, and um, enjoy. Thank you.